Hello, I'm Stephen Thomas and I'm a podiatrist, which is a foot and ankle specialist and I'm based in Harley Street in London. In this video, I'm going to go through the treatments for fungal nail, known as onychomycosis. If you would like to find out a little bit more about fungal nail, there's, there is another video that I've just uh, uploaded earlier. The first type of treatment for fungal nail would be prevention. As I discussed in my previous video, uh, the most common way of developing fungal nail is from developing tinea pedis, known, to, known as athlete's foot. Um, if you can prevent yourself from developing athlete's foot in the first place, then you should prevent yourself from developing fungal nail. Um, and the way to do this is prevent yourself from going barefoot in uh, public areas. These are things such as going in gyms, gym changing rooms is a really common one. If you think you may have uh, athlete's foot, you can use some athlete's foot's cream to, to put on your foot to try and remove this and also treat your shoes. So the most common thing is to treat your skin with the athlete's foot cream, treat your shoes and your socks with some uh, antifungal spray. As I mentioned in my previous video, uh, the sure way to diagnose fungal nail is to take a nail clipping and uh, perform a PCR test. So if the PCR test has come back and it's positive for fungal nail, then there are generally three main options that you have available. So the first option is uh, a topical treatments. Generally you use a, like a nail lacquer, it's a transparent lacquer that, lacquer that just paints on your nail. Um, and the most common one is one that contains 5% amarolfine. Now this is the probably the least effective treatment um, and the longest one, but it's also probably the one that has least side effects. And you should be able to pick one of these up from one of your local pharmacies. The second type of treatment uh, for fungal nail is to take oral medication. Now with oral medication, it's the most effective way of treating it, although not everybody tolerates these tablets. Um, there's also a, a small risk of uh, hepatotex toxicity, so it can put a little bit of load on the liver. So normally before prescribing antifungal uh, tablets, you would have a liver function test, which is just a simple blood test, just to check that your liver is performing very well. And you'd normally take one tablet a day for a minimum of three to six months. The way the tablets work is they work systemically in your whole system. So if you have fungal nail on several of the nails, you know it's going to treat all of them at the same time. The third option for treating fungal nail is a nail removal. It sounds a bit like torture, but for some, some people they may have exhausted uh, nail lacquer. Maybe they can't take the uh, medication for some reason, but they're really keen to get rid of them. So if you have, especially if it's just one nail, then one option is to remove it. The way you do this is by performing local anesthetic injection in the toe and then removing the nail and allow a brand new nail to regrow. After nail removal, it can be a little bit sore for a few days, um, but usually after a week or so, it's completely settled down and then you'll start to develop a new nail regrowth. So the other half of the treatment, after you remove the nail, is to treat the skin that's underneath the nail. So once the nail's removed and the, the wound is settled down, there's no more wound there, you can treat all that nail bed area with an antifungal cream regularly every day. And then as the new nail regrows, it should not, in theory, become reinfected again. Now there are some limitations to this. Um, if the fungal has infected the full length of the nail and down to the root, there is a small possibility that the new nail regrowth will grow with a fungus inside the nail. So it does depend on the individual, how you treat this. It depends where it's infected and how much. So there may be a small possibility of just sectioning back part of a nail just to remove the suspected area of fungus. Um, it may also be a matter of treating the skin under the nail. Sometimes, particularly this is why the lacquer doesn't always work, is that you may be applying the lacquer to the top of the nail, but if the skin underneath the nail is infected with fungus and it's inf infecting it from underneath and upwards, then the lacquer is not really going to be able to penetrate that part. So you will uh, find it difficult to, to uh, eradicate that. I hope you found that video useful. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and pop any comments you have down below. Thank you very much.